Hey guys, welcome back to software testing interview question series. So this is your instructor Rahul Shetty. Today we have one interesting question. So how do you ensure compatibility and manage across different browsers and operating systems in your automated tests? So question looks confusing, but this is the exact question candidate got in the interview. So I don't want to tweak any further. I just copied the question here with my own view of answer. Okay, so the question what interviewer is expecting here. So you have an application and you have a clients who use that application in Chrome, Safari, Firefox and some people use Windows and some people use Mac, right? Now when your clients are spreaded across different browsers, different operating systems, how do you test it? So if you write an automated test, if you build an automated test framework, in which browser you test it, which operating system you test it. So if you tell that I test in every browser and every operating system, that's a foolish answer. That is, you know, not close to reality, right? So if you have, if your application is a huge with 200, 300 tests, you can't do a combination and run thousand tests. That's not, you know, happens in real time. So how are we going to answer this question? So for that, first thing is a user data. So you should tell your interviewer that I will get the numbers of the percentages of how my clients are using. So that means how many of them are using Chrome? Let's say my client base, 70% of them using Chrome. So that means Chrome is a predominant browser. And what operating system? 80% are using Windows. So Windows is a predominant. So at least you will know the what is the top browser and operating system you should uh, have in your mind. So your automated test should majorly focus on the majority of the browser and operating system. Simple thumb rule. Okay, so you are you have to analyze your user base, determine the browser operating system, and then you have to uh, prepare your test. Then immediately your interviewer will ask. So how about remaining 30%? You are not even testing them. That means 15% Safari, 15% Firefox. What is the test coverage in that? Yes, good question. So then criticality is something comes into picture. So there is a one rule that 80% of the clients will use most of the time only 20% of the application. So in your case, let's say you have a credit card application, credit card app, 80% of the users, you know, most of the time, all they do is check transactions and pay the bill, right? So most of the users only focus on some prime criticality flows in your application. You need to figure out as a QA, you need to know what is that criticality or you check with your product owner. Where are the most of the time our users are spending? Take those critical paths and that critical paths automation you can spread in your Firefox and Safari. So that means out of 100 automated functional tests you have, let's say 10 of the tests are most of the user base will do actively. Those 10 test cases, we will make sure we run in Firefox and Safari to make sure nothing is breaking. So that is how you balance, right? And other all uh, other tests, whatever you have like a reward program in the credit card app, if there is a reward program, travel, uh, profile, all that, you know, you test it in the major Chrome. But the whole critical path, which will you know, break the application itself if that does not work. Those paths identify and spread across the browser. That's how you have to balance your answer if you get a cross question about how about different things. Okay, so user data critical, two main things. Here itself your interviewer will get satisfied, don't worry. Okay, so these are the classic replies. And if you get another cross question, so how do you do in your framework? Okay, so you are saying you will run in different browsers, different operating systems also, Mac and Windows. How do you handle in your framework? Like how the infrastructure you set up? So for that, if you are using Selenium, you have something called Selenium Grid. 
where you can distribute your test into different browsers and different operating systems. So if you are part of my Selenium course, you can watch that or you can uh, search in my uh, YouTube also. I have videos on Selenium Grid. If it other frameworks, there is simple way that these days there are many cloud operating uh, test platforms are there like browser stack, sauce labs, Lambda test. These three are, you know, popular cloud platforms. Just Google them. What they do is they provide all operating systems, different versions and even different browsers, Chrome with different uh, versions, Edge, Explorer, Safari. They'll have all the infrastructure in place and they provide a smooth way uh, to integrate your tests. That means your framework tests can run in their cloud mission on the desired operating system and the desired browser. So they take care of all infrastructure headache. You take care of the code. All you need to do is they will give you one link and the password which will help you to connect to their cloud missions and run the tests on their cloud mission. Okay, now for example, you have a Mac Safari. Safari some version number, Mac some version number they will give me some unique key access 146 this is the infrastructure machine where i have this setup so what you do is you write a test and tell these platforms run on 146 id it will go simply there and there you have mac and safari it will run there okay so explore this and you can talk about these cloud platforms and they make our life very easy with different combinations and testing infrastructure this is how you can answer if they ask about infrastructure and key points are user data and criticality. So these are the different things you can think of, uh, but don't give you give foolish answers like, um, sorry if you feel offended with the foolish, but sometimes people do very well in the coding because they don't have much of testing experience. They do a very uh, well good coding from their bachelor degree all. They talk everything, they show up all the code. But when they come to answer like these questions, these questions are usually asked in manager level, final round. They will just cut off if you say, I'll run everything in every browser, every operating system because I want 100% automation coverage. I don't want to miss any scenario. I will do perfect testing. No, that won't work in real time. People can understand that you don't have enough experience to tackle all these complex applications, right? But this answer will definitely help you, all right? So if you like more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you know, we'll come up with more exciting videos in our upcoming series, all right? Thank you.